Welcome to the press conference of Communications Secretary Martin Andanar, who will introduce our guests for tonight. Secretary? Thank you, Marie. Magandang gabi po sa inyo lahat. Good evening. Uh, Kaagayan lang po namin sa isang uh, cabinet uh, security cluster meeting sa opisina po ng ating uh, Pangulong Duterte. Uh, bago ko po ipakilala uh, ang ating mga bisita ngayong gabi, ay nais ko pong... Uh, ipabatid sa inyo lahat na pinakita na po ng Pangulo doon po sa interview kanina ang draft copy po ng Operationalizing in the Executive Branch the People's Constitutional Right to Information and the State Policies of Full Public Disclosure and Transparency in the Public Service and Providing Guidelines thereof of the Freedom of Information. At pinaliwanag po ng Pangulo na natanggap niya po ang draft kanina at alam naman po natin na ninais po ng gabinete at ng executive uh, secretary na i-release po ang FOI bukas pero pag-aaralan po muna ng Pangulo itong uh, draft. So uh, it will be signed, sealed and delivered by next week. Okay. Uh, no, I-review lang ni uh, Presidente muna. FOI. Ang FOI. Ang FOI po. Itong FOI bill. Uh, FOI uh, executive order. At ngayon po, meron din pong dalawang malagang announcement ng Pangulo. At um, kung uh, maaari po, eh, meron po tayong bisita ngayong gabi. Uh, DOJ Secretary Vita Aguirre and uh, Solgen uh, Joe Calida. At sila na po ang magpapaliwanag patungkol po dun sa nabanggit ng Pangulo at yung mga inanunsyo niyo tungkol sa laban natin o laban ng gobyerno sa droga. Secretary? Birthday po ni Secretary. Happy birthday. In a lot of fun public. Uh, uh, thank you, uh, Secretary Martin. Uh, earlier this afternoon, President Duterte uh, faced the media and uh, told them about <coughs> the triad and the operations of triad in the Philippines. As you well know, triad comes from mainland China. Uh, there are five levels uh, depending on the capability of the uh, drug pusher to sell. And uh, these are categorized either in grams or kilograms. So the level five is the top tier of the uh, <coughs> drug hierarchy. Uh, if you have uh, in your possession a copy of the uh, chart, this is only a partial uh, copy because what was presented by uh, President Duterte was the entire uh, organizational chart, if we may call it that. Uh, <clears throat> but that will be uh, tackled later on. I'll just talk about the first at uh, the fifth level. Uh, a certain Mr. Wu Tuan, alias Peter Ko, is the uh, responsible for the uh, Triad, Luzon, NCR regions. He is currently detained at the National uh, Penitentiary and uh, leader of the so-called Believed 19 gang. Uh, the next... Uh, Level 5 uh, drug lord is a certain Peter Lim, also known as Jaguar. He is in charge of the Triad Visayas. Uh, this person is not the Jaguar who was killed in an operation in Las Piñas uh, some time ago, and he was buried in Cebu. This is a different Jaguar. <coughs> and according to this uh, chart, the associate protector identified by the President Duterte is retired uh, General Marcelo Garbo, former DCO PNP and former regional director of PRO7, former DRDO PRO7, uh, class 1981. Another uh, level of this uh, Level, another, another personality in this level five is Herbert Colanco, alias Ampang. He is an inmate at the National 
penitentiary. He's a drug lord uh, involved in KFR bank robbery in alliance with the Parohino Drug Syndicate slash Coratong Baleleng. Below this uh, level five, there are persons of interest. Uh, that was part of the uh, chart that was presented by uh, President Duterte before the media, composed of the following Chinese nationals, PNP officials, BJMP officials, local government officials, and many of them are mayors and other persons of interest. Our president will uh, divulge their identities in uh, succeeding uh, press conferences. That will be all for now. Thank you. Any questions? Any questions for the Solicitor General, Joseph Morong of GMA7? Sir, first off, yung Peter Lim boy uh, at large then? Uh, according to information, Peter Lim is outside of the country. Sir, can you describe him? And uh, <coughs> President Duterte warned him that if he steps into the Naia, he will be killed. He's Chinese, of course. Hindi naman Filipino ta. He's Chinese. Okay. Sir, can you describe the relationship between General Garbo and Peter Lim? And if there is um, between Peter Ko and General Garbo? According to the briefing that we received earlier, and as announced by our president, he's on level five as associate protector. In short, cuddler. How does, he How does the cuddling um, work? Kung baga, pwede dong nagdat naglalagay. Alam ni General Garbo kung ano yung galaw nung triad ng Visayas and okay let me define cuddler under the law a cuddler is one who protects uh, the drug drug trafficking activities of uh, drug lords you can find that in the comprehensive law uh, of the dangerous drugs law uh, the same penalty will be given to a uh, <coughs> to a drug lord trafficker and a cuddler same same penalty Dex, okay, one more. Go. Please use the microphone, Joseph. Pardon, kay meron yung relationship between uh, Peter Ko and uh, General Garbo? Well, according to the briefing, as I said, and as announced earlier on by uh, our president, in this uh, level five chart, he's considered associate slash protector. Of both. Quote, unquote. Sir, of both Peter Ko and Jaguar. Well, he's in the line of uh, these two uh, uh, drug lords, Wu Tuan, alias Peter Ko, and Peter Lim, alias Jaguar. So, pwedeng sabihin, sir, na si General Garbo is protector of both? Uh, I will not venture an opinion okay. on that. Just uh, read what we have given you. <laughs> Dexter Ganibe of DJMM. So, Jen, magandang uh, gabi po, Dexter Ganibin ng DZMM. Uh, ano na po ang uh, lumalabas sa inyong investigasyon kung nasaan si uh, General uh, Garbo at kung ano ang mga legal na aksyon na gagawin doon sa kanyang, uh, kung may pasaporte ba na dala siya, kung nasaan siya ngayon? Uh, let me clarify, uh, we have not investigated him. I am not part of the investigating team. I was just asked by uh, Secretary Martin to clarify this because I used to be the <coughs> executive director of the uh, Dangerous Drugs Board and a former undersecretary of Department of Justice. So I'm here to help. But I did not investigate yet. That will be the function of the Department of Justice. Secretary Aguirre is here. You may ask the question to him. Ina Andolong of CNN Philippines. Good afternoon, sir. Sir, how about the other generals earlier identified by uh, President Duterte. Saan po sila dito sa binigay niyo sa amin? They are in the lower levels. As I said, there will be persons of interest consisting of Chinese nationals, PNP officials. They are on that level. Are they also somewhat um, related or linked to these uh, drug lords mentioned here? Uh, 
the organ organizational chart presented during the uh, media conference, uh, the press con, they are part of the big uh, organizational chart. Okay, sir, last from my part. Um, are these drug lords um, also the ones maybe yung nag-offer daw po ng bounty for um, the president and the PNP chief? Most likely, yes. The three of them combined, ganun ba? Or just specifically maybe Peter Ko or Jaguar? Ganun I ba? have no personal knowledge, but you can uh, deduce from uh, what was uh, mentioned. Thank you, sir. Okay. Uh, Secretary Aguirre. Thank you, Sir okay. Jen. Happy birthday. Thank you. Now we have Justice Secretary Aguirre. Uh, good evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we would like to announce that because of the persistent questions from your Miss Rock Ignacio, the uh, President was compelled to uh, <laughs> reveal the answer to the question being uh, thrown at him frequently, which is, uh, Ms. Ignacio said, Sir President, uh, do you have any plan to uh, appoint uh, Vice President Lenny to any cabinet position? The President did not immediately answer as a matter of fact, uh, this was some sort of an, ortho an orthodox uh, way of answering whether he's already uh, appointed a vice president to any cabinet position. You know what he did? He asked uh, Ms. Ignacio if he has the uh, telephone number of the vice president, and he requested uh, her to call him, to call her. <laughs> but... Uh, Ms. Ignacio did not, and so he asked uh, Mr. Bongo to, uh, to call uh, Vice, President, Vice President Lenny while there was an ongoing some sort of press conference by TV4. And when the President, uh, or when Mr. Bongo was able to contact the Vice President, he gave the telephone to the President and who asked uh, the vice president if he would, if she would uh, accept the position of uh, a cabinet position, that of the uh, Housing and Urban Development Coordinating Council, or HUDCC. Well, we did not hear the answer of the vice president, but from the face of the president, we could say that uh, the uh, vice president accepted the offer. And uh, she was asked to uh, report for the first cabinet meeting on Monday. So I believe that uh, both uh, parties, the president and the vice president, are happy with the decision and uh, we could feel that uh, many among the present cabinet members are also happy uh, with the fact that uh, at last the vice president was no longer a uh, with a president a an officer without any cabinet position but he is now a cabinet mem a full-fledged cabinet member Maricel Halili of News 5 Hi, sir. Good evening. Sir, why the sudden change of heart on the part of President Duterte? Bakit suddenly bigla niyang inappoint si Well, I could only speculate, but uh, from the uh, media, from the reports during the past, I think the past two meetings between the two of them, I believe that there is some, there was some sort of warming up uh, between the two. And uh, in the newspaper, it was reported that uh, the uh, meeting between the two, the past two meetings between the two, are very amiable, and uh, so I believe that uh, that was the key uh, for the president to offer her a position and for the vice president to accept it. But, sir, President Duterte has been very vocal in his previous statement, saying that 
uh, he's very careful because he doesn't want to hurt his friend Senator Bongbong Marcos. So, ano pong masasabi niyo about this? Bakit biglang ayan na si VP? Well, uh, I believe that uh, that was the reason given by the president at that time. So, uh, we feel that uh, because of the little passage of time, uh, there must be some reconsideration of the decision. And so here we are. I think this is very good for the country. Sir, last na lang on my part. Why had C? I don't know, but this was the position of Vice President uh, B. Nizenet. And uh, I believe that uh, uh, the related agencies, such as Pag Evig and the other one, I forgot would be, I am just speculating, but it was not uh, specifically uh, mentioned uh, uh, a while ago by the president. So let's, uh, for the moment, let's say it is the Hajsi. Any more questions on the Dexter, on other issues now? Dexter Ganibe of DZMM. Secretary, good evening. Good evening, Dex. Sir, uh, the new Billy with prison is under the watch of the uh, Bureau of Corrections, which is under the Department of Justice. What will be the, the action of the DOJ now that uh, two of the triads, Peter Ko and uh, Kolanko, are detained inside the uh, NBP? Well, we, we have been preparing for the big one, what we shall do uh, in connection with to stop the drug transaction inside the New Bilibid prison. Actually, uh, what happened this afternoon, including the uh, charge that was uh, given to us, uh, uh, validates what I've been saying long time ago, that 75% of the drug trades all over the country is being cooked or transacted inside the New Bilibid prison. May mga hakbang po ba na limitahan yung kanilang kilos doon sa loob o nailipat na po ba sila doon sa bagong gusali na na-renovate? No, but uh, as I've uh, told you before, we are uh, considering of uh, about uh, doing three things in connection with the uh, locating these inmates. We could let them remain inside uh, Building 14. We could... Uh, uh, transfer them to uh, Tanay. We could transfer them to ISAP. But of course, in the long run, we are also contemplating of uh, even transferring them to, them to Carvalho Island or to an island in Palawan. This is seriously considered where uh, there are no cell phone signals. You know that uh, and I was uh, validated again that without the cell phones, no transaction whatsoever will be done inside the New Bilibid prisons by this drug launch. Okay. Joseph Morong. Sir, clarification. I think, see, Peter Ko, I don't know about Kolanko, they've been transferred to Bilibid, uh, Building 14. That's uh, right, that's right. So, nanduna sila, sir, no? Nanduna. <coughs> sir, can you just elaborate on the network? No? So, we have at least two groups here. Um, Peter Ko and then Kolankos, or are they related? Well, th the two of them are both in Building 14. So, if it seems that uh, Golanko is not a member of the triad per uh, the chart, is that not correct? It was only Peter Lim who is uh, not in detention and who is uh, going in and out of the country that is a member of the triad. But uh, we are going to stop them. I assure you, we have a plan already on hand. We are just uh, waiting for the appointment or the designation of the uh, Bucor uh, director. And how are we able to say that uh, General Garbo is the protector? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry because uh, it was reported by the uh, Philippine National uh, Philippine National Police, and uh, I was not privy to the making of the chart. So how about the other four? How about? Uh, how about the other four generals? 
Where do we situate I, them in I'm this I'm not graph? privy as to where the president got uh, his uh, information, but I'm sure that the president, we have faith in him, and he will not be announcing anything as grave as that if he has no evidence to back them up. Okay, and more questions? No more questions. Benji yeah. Luana, DZWB. Sir, good evening. Sir, uh, confirm ko lang, wa, wa, ano na po yung susunod na gagawin ng Department of Justice? Uh, any word coming from the President uh, telling you about uh, about this matter? Uh, he is 100% uh, behind us. Uh, General Bato de la Rosa is 100% behind us. As a matter of fact, he has already been, he has already uh, made arrangement with the SAF who will uh, be the ones taking over the uh, uh, prison guards, etc., employees, uh, so that the old, uh, the old uh, guards and the employees could be uh, taken out for retraining and re-education. Uh, this is as soon as possible or tonight or? As soon as possible. Okay, thank you. Joseph, and then Dexter. Sir, <laughs> pasensya na. Uh, si, Major Gar si General Garbo is retired, no? So obviously, Napolcom can't run after him. Is the DOJ going to run after him based on the information that was received by uh, the PNP? In terms of criminal well, 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 liability, what, sir? What is, uh, the, the, uh, what's to be expected is that if there is any complaint against these uh, police officers, whether retired or not, the Department of Justice will act on them, on those information, we are going to conduct the necessary investigation, assign these uh, cases to the different prosecutors for uh, preliminary investigation. Based on this, will there be any b complainants? And who? There could be. Uh, a public official could be a complainant. A the private president. person could be a complainant. The president. Could be a witness. How about the president? The president will not dip his hands on this. Because, uh, Dexter? Secretary, kailan pa nag-operate itong triad na ito based on sa sources natin? Ang tingin namin matagal na but uh, uh, please forgive me because I'm not uh, at, uh, I, I, do not, I do not have any hand in the preparation of this uh, chart. Na banggit din po ba ng uh, ating mga sources kung itong operation ng triad na ito ay alam ng uh, dating namuno sa Department of Justice o kaya ng DILG? It was not mentioned, but uh, it is not far-fetched that uh, it must be known to some uh, high officials of government. Kung ganun po ba, halimbawa, alam ng mga opisyal noon, may ba nanagutan din po ba sila? If uh, any evidence to that effect will be presented, then that would be, they could be in conspiracy with these people. Because uh, there are some information that many in the high position of government uh, receive monetary consideration because of the protection or uh, sele uh, partial treatment to some of these uh, drug lords. Can you name those uh, ofi of or offices? Kung ano mga offices itong mga nakinabang? Uh, it's still premature. Let us do it after we have conducted the raid. Joseph? Sir, um, if, if you or si, uh, Sergeant Kalida would know, what does General Garbo get from cuddling itong mga triad na to? Well, I, I think uh, the, uh, the question uh, is very simple, and I believe that uh, the answer should be very simple. So yeah, there must be some... I, uh, I'm speculating. I do not want to speculate. Maybe you, uh, Sergeant Kalida would have been briefed about it? So, Jen Galit is no longer. No. He's celebrating already his birthday. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Justice okay. Secretary Aguirre and Sec Martin. Okay. Thank you very much, you. Malacanang Press Corps. Back to Radio TV Malacanang, PTV4, and Raja Nambayan.